hi everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you are all well i'm struggling a bit today that's why i'm sitting on the floor because then i've got the back support of the sofa my um back is playing up tremendously lately um back pain i think i've just been pushing my body too much lately to be truthful but i'm not listening to it i keep getting stuff done rather than resting for a couple of days I'm still kind of like prodding on a mum's life is never slow and never ends and a mum of four with additional needs is even worse or even harder should I say not worse but um one of my friends told me the other day and I don't know if this is true or any if anyone else has actually heard it for every child that has autism right if you're raising a child with autism it's the equivalent of raising four average children, normal, I don't know how you'd word it, but four other children without additional needs. And I'm like, that would mean I'd have 12 kids. And I'm like, I feel so sorry for, or not sorry, not at all. Um, I bow my head and I don't know how you guys do it if you have a large family. I mean, I know I watch a couple of um, YouTube mums that are fantastic. Grab, li Grab Life by the Halls, I think her, her YouTube video is, and Mum of Many, absolutely fantastic, those channels, absolutely love them. And I really don't know how you cope with so many kids. I struggle with four, I really, really do. You, you two, deserve trophies and medals and awards and a great big holiday what do you guys think do you think you deserve a holiday i do um but i've kind of gone off track there a little bit haven't i um i have a primark haul for you and a tesco haul for you steve and myself went out to buy nathan some new clothes because he's grown Mainly his head. We know he's um, being tested for like a head genetic chromosome disorder and we still haven't got the results back on that. But Nathan has a exceptionally big head and a lot of his clothes now don't go over his head. So we've had to get him some bigger clothes. And it is his birthday, so we've had to get him some birthday bits. And then while we was in Primark, I thought I would pick up a few little things that Steve needed for work. Well, no, not work. It's kind of just what he needs in general. He needed some pants. He needed some socks. He's probably not going to be happy about me showing you on YouTube what I've got him, but he doesn't watch my videos. He doesn't know what I do. So I can't get told off, can I? <laughs> So um, I'm going to sit on the floor and I'm going to show you what I got from Primark first and then I will show you what we got from Tesco's, okay? Two two big bags from Primark. We've got, see it's even busted out, look, we have to go that way. See, big bags. One and then two. There we go. Um, that should be up there with Tesco's. So, right, let's show you what we got from Primark. And I tell you what, Primark is getting very expensive. I used to think you could kit out the whole family, like maybe £100 per person, you could kit them out. But now, their clothes are just as expensive, not the same, not as expensive, the same price as everywhere else, like Matalan and Tesco's. I mean, we went into Tesco's after Primark, and the clothes I got him in there were the same price. And I'm like, really? You know, but there's me going off track again. Um, we got him some big fluffy pyjamas with sloths on. These are what I'm going to put away for Christmas. Okay, so I'm going to bring them forward so you can have a look. They have cute, is it going to focus? Have I got to come out of frame? Do -do -do. Well, anyway, a big sloth on the front and then little sloffy heads on the back. They will be great for Christmas, so he's going to have them then. These are probably going to be for his birthday. 
They are Paw Patrol pyjamas. They're not as thick, so they're great for autumn. They're velvet, blue, long sleeve, and they've got Sky, Marshall, Rubble. That's not Marshall, is it? That's, that's Chase. But it has got Marshall one. There's Marshall. But pyjamas. And they were seven fifty. The other ones were five pounds. Then we picked him up another pair. No, bit. Steve's bung some stuff in the Primark bags. They're from Tesco's. Ignore that bit. Right, I got something for me because before we went straight up the escalator, I had a quick little look around the women's section. And I love all the kind of like lumberjack look. And um, I got this jacket. Tell you what, I'm going to put it on. Let's see what it looks like on me actually. I got a small. Didn't realise I did that. Let's just hope it fits me, shall we? There we go. See, I like it kind of up on the sleeves. I don't really like it long. I like them kind of fitted, but I kind of wear, I wear a vest top underneath it anyway. So you can wear it as sort of like a really light jacket instead of a hoodie or just as a top. So that's a small. And that actually quite fits. Ignore the jogging pants, guys. I'm having a bit of a chilling at home day that see i like that and then obviously the vest top underneath so you can have it long sleeve short sleeve i like short sleeve they had loads of different colors but i went for this one i should have picked up the baby blue as well though because i like that but i'll probably be buying more of them and that was eight pounds for me put that down there and i'll come back down that must be up there right here we go more stuff for Nathan. Picked up this bluey hoodie. I'll look over. Hi. Bluey hoodie. It has sort of the rubber texture that Nathan likes to touch. Not so much, but he will love that. That's got bluey on and it's got a hood on. He will have that up. And I'm hoping it will fit his head. I got him the age four to five. And I hope his head will fit through there. Um, that was seven pounds. Then we got him a Paw Patrol tracksuit. Again, it's the pattern on there is textured. It is rubbery, but not so in your face rubbery effect like he likes. But he will still sit there and he will twiddle and stroke. But that is really nice pastel and it's just a sweatshirt and jogging pants there and a nice light grey and on there it is what is it you very rarely get rocky and what's the other one there's two dogs from Paw Patrol that you very rarely see on clothes you always see these ones as the main characters but yeah, I don't know. I can't remember the names. That was £12. Then we are back to Bluey again. And we have this. Get that out of the way. We have this hoodie. A nice kind of forest green. Or cargy green. And this is rubbery. So Nathan's absolutely going to love this one. That was £6. Then we've got some jogging pants and I could have I think I bought a jumper to match this or to go with it these are just some jogging pants with the cuff bottoms for Nathan light grey and then they were six pounds oh no I think it was this one I think it was this one that I got this is a nice navy blue one so it won't show up the dirt as much on the leg we've got again the three popular paw patrols dogs they were six pounds and then i got him the matching hoodie to go with there we go and that was seven pounds so again they, their clothes are not as cheap as they used to be maybe it's just because they're branded the clothes that i bought him we'll never know got him this jumper uh, jumper t-shirt they had hardly any long sleeve t-shirts in there yet. I think they're still hoping for a bit of nice weather. But um, 
that is the front of the t-shirt so we've got a B there and bingo down there and then on the back there's a big one I wonder how many times Steve's gonna put that on Nathan round the wrong way thinking that goes on the front probably quite a few times that was six pounds then we've got another tracksuit this is probably more like for nursery this is I went in there with the intention of getting quite a few clothes like this ready for him for nursery because I don't really want him ruining those types of clothes like he has been as you may have seen in one of my vlogs I've shown you the state of his trousers that he comes home in they change his outfit at nursery about three or four times some days because they let him play in water they let him play in mud and absolutely disgusting but this tracksuit set was only nine pounds nine pounds and it's got dinosaurs on it it's got the rubber texture lovely I might actually go get another set of that one just so that he has duplicates for nursery um that's my receipt i'll tell you how much this all cost me at the end so stay tuned for that one uh what else have we got all right i've got me some boots what are these these are probably what i'm going to end up wearing around the house when i know i'm doing a lot of housework rather than slippers they are absolutely gorgeous they are um low ankle ones fluffy on the inside I saw um, Ria from Ria Susanna um, buy a pair of these. Sorry, Susanna? It's Susanna, isn't it? Um, absolutely fantastic. And I got them. They were the last size four. Because again, I'm a size three, but my sister tells me when you buy boots, you should always buy a size bigger than what you are. Does anyone else do that? Or is what she's telling me a load of crock and ball? Crock and ball. Crock and ball? Crock and ball. But love those boots, they're so soft. I think I'm going to have to go back and get the girls some pairs as well before they sell out. But the main goal of this Primark shop was Nathan. But then let's, let's get on to Steve, shall we? We've got pants. I've kitted him out with pants. And him and Shane now are the same size in everything. And that's the problem I have. So I need some advice on what you guys recommend I can do to define Steve's clothes to Shane's clothes when I'm doing the washing because I can't I can't remember everything and like the pants if I put Steve's pants in Shane's pile he's just gonna wear them he's not gonna check and Steve's not very happy about someone else wearing his pants so I need some advice what can I do with Steve's clothes to point out that they are his when I'm doing the washing off for someone else oh my hair's just fell out my clip <laughs> there we go it's out it's down I was thinking maybe a bit of nail varnish on the label and then I know that's Steve's not sure but we'll get back on track again I keep going off track pants these are for Steve lovely army cargo pants there was six pounds eight pounds then we've got him some more army cargi kind of pants, but a different design. They were eight pounds. Then we've got, these are for Shane for Christmas. We've got him the pizza and the hot dog ones. So again, I am thinking of Christmas and these are eight pounds, but as you can see, they're the same bloody size, large. And then, more for Steve, because he really needed to be kitted out with some fresh boxes. Um, we've got these ones with the brightly coloured tabbies. They were £8. Right, these pants were all £8. And then the pastely ones. There we go. So Steve's got a lot of pants. And then boring things. Socks. Right, I'm going to throw one pair there. These are for Steve, because he's got so many holy socks. I've told him he's got to go through his sock drawer or his underwear drawer with all his socks before he gets these ones to sort through what ones need to go in the bin because he will just add these to the drawer and then you won't be able to shut the blooming drawer and then he will still use the holy socks that he's got. It winds me up. I've just bought him 
10 new pairs of socks and these are workers socks so they're nice and thick which are great for when he wears his steel toe cap boots to work and that as well and they'll keep his feet warm in the winter and then these ones are for nathan they are slipper or cozy socks and he's obsessed with his green dinosaur socks at the moment where they've got rubber on the underneath and he's absolutely bonkers about them so i grabbed these because they are of the same style you get three in a pack but they also have the like gel grip a bit on the underneath which his other slip, other socks do as well so i'm hoping he will like wearing these as well so that is everything that i got from primark and should i make you wait until the end of the video to tell you how much i spent in primark no i'm not that mean um all that lot came to 140 pounds 30p doesn't look a whole lot for what we used to be able to get for our money but that's what i got from primark now from tesco's we got a mixture of things we got clothes and we got toys i'll show you the clothes first they've got their 25 percent off on their if you have a club card they so they've got 25 percent off all clothes and everything in there at the moment so we picked him up some pick nathan up some more trainers there we go some nice green ones and they were 12 pounds but they're minus 25 percent you could do the maths because i'm not <laughs> there's them then i went up to the like the boy section and then i got him another bluey t-shirt this is rubbery and it is long sleeve maybe it's not the ideal color to put nathan in definitely not for nursery but it's a nice t-shirt for him and that was seven pounds minus the 25 percent then we got him this jumper again maybe not the best color for him maybe on a nice um non rainy day <laughs> a day that it's not raining and when he's out in the garden so he can stay somewhat clean maybe but there's bluey on the front and then there's bingo on the back that was 10 pounds so 25 percent off that cost 750 then we've got a, another long sleeve t-shirt which is navy blue great and it's got all bluey's little friends on the bottom that was six pounds and then last but not least clove wise from tesco's get a bit tangled up we've got in this track suit navy blue again seems to be like navy blue is in it's got a little paw patrol rubber tag on the front so he'll love stroking that on the back there's a giant version of it and then on the trousers there's the rubber bit there and then their cuff bottom as well so they'd be great to wear with wellies so he will love that that is all the clothes now let's show you the toys that i've got to go with his birthday why do i always get an itchy nose when i'm recording we thought he would find this hilarious it is a whoopee cushion he's never seen a whoopee cushion before so we thought all right granted he's not going to know what it is when he opens it when it's wrapped up but once he knows what it is and we show him he's going to have the time of his life with that probably a short-lived birthday present but it was only one pound fifty and then <laughs> this caught steve's eye and it had steve entertained the whole time around tesco's right it is a bracelet that you can crunch you know when those like snap bracelets that like that so steve was doing that around the whole supermarket and then he was making it roll around the shelves and we thought nathan would absolutely love this so it can wrap around nathan's wrist and then he can use his wrist as a car but it also has a pull back and go function as well that was reduced from three pounds i think to one pound 99 doesn't look a whole lot 
but Nathan would have fun with that. Oh, I've done it. Right, no more fun, Hannah. And then they've got um, a half price toy event at the moment. So we've got him some Hot Wheels. He loves watching uh, things go. So like, um, he's got a track where he's got battery powered cars where we will build the track, he'll put the car on and he will sit and watch it just drive around. But he has got Hot Wheels as well. So we've got him actually some Hot Wheels track kits. Now there's this one that comes with a car. There we go. And this is what it looks like. So it's quite big. And we do need... Does he just drop a car down it, I think? No, it's um, a slingshot. Let's turn you around. Let's turn it around and you can show you. There we go. He puts the car here, whacks the handle, and then it shoots the car around the track. So he will absolutely love that. Yes, it says five years plus, but we are not going to leave him unattended with it. We've got him that one. But then we've also got this one. So one is going to be for his birthday and one is going to be for Christmas. This one comes with a few more cars. They were the same price pretty much anyway. And then here, Steve seems to think you just drop the car down. It goes through this like power pack and it picks up speed and shoots the car around all this track and then it shoots out and then off it goes again. But um, we think he'll enjoy them. He does already have some Hot Wheel cars. So that will be fun and games for him. Shane used to have so much um, Hot Wheels and we've probably got loads of track up in the loft. But we want Nathan to have some of his own toys as well, not always just hand-me-downs. And then from Smith's, because we quickly ran in there, we just picked up some puzzles and stuff because we know he likes puzzles. So we got him this pack of four bluey puzzles. I'm probably going to regret this. I'm going to find puzzle bits everywhere. This three pack of Paw Patrol wooden puzzles. And these are what they are. And they fit in this wooden travel case. So that will be good for when we go away. We can take that with us. And then we've got this bigger box where it's got four individual puzzles. But they are bigger as well. All different designs. He'll be over the moon with that. And then we did buy him this bluey fire truck. Because he has got the bluey car. He's got the bluey houses and the cottage. Um, but we thought he'd like the fire truck. So it's got bluey and bingo with fire hats on and a fire truck. So he will have fun with that. So that is everything that we bought yesterday. So I didn't go today, it was yesterday. Um, I hope you enjoyed seeing what I got. Um, I do apologise, I got off track a little bit and waffled on. <laughs> but I'm in a bit of a... I think... Um, where I haven't really been out for a few days because I'm not... Um, feeling up to mingling with with actual humans other than my family I've become a bit of a hermit crab and um, I do this it's part of my mental my mental kind of health issues that I have I kind of like hibernate and then I go I could go weeks without seeing people I do the school runs I come home and then I just see my family and that is it and that seems to be what I'm doing at the moment and so my bubbly personality comes out in dribs and drabs in my videos so that is what you guys are getting you're getting a, a chit chat as if I'm talking to an actual person right in front of me so I do apologize about that um I'm going to wrap this video up I hope you enjoyed it if you did please give it the thumbs up so I know that you did like this um if you have seen this video and enjoyed it can you please consider subscribing because it really really does help my channel out to grow and it helps me out an awful lot as well um, and then if you have subscribed make sure you hit that notification bell next to the subscribe button so that it will tell you YouTube will tell you every time I upload a new video and then you won't miss out on any upcoming videos 
unless you choose to and then you can just skip that and then mix and match or pick which videos you want to watch of mine but um yeah i hope you did enjoy it i hope you are well and take care and i hope to see you again soon bye guys